Hey guys, I'm back and today I filmed a how to apply foundation, concealer, contour, highlight, and blush. I've gotten a few requests about a video like this, so I figured why not? It's a perfect video to film. I've even had family members and friends of my own ask me how to really apply foundation and what are some techniques and steps and how do you really have to go about it. So I figured since I try to make my YouTube as a learning platform, I want you guys to learn different steps and how to really apply makeup and some great techniques. So I figured this would be a great video to film. I basically showed you my foundation routine, but as well I just talked you through how to apply each step onto your face. Yeah, so I think it's a great video to really just get out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's videos like this out there, but I just wanted to film it because what is one more video? Maybe it's gonna you're gonna learn something new that you haven't seen in another video. So that's what I wanted to film for you guys today. I did film this makeup look already and it's already up on my channel. It's the video before this. So go check that out if you guys want to see this video. Also, I do have a giveaway right now happening and you can click on the link down below to enter the giveaway. There will be three winners that are going to win the Bomb Cosmetics Meet Matte Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Thank you so much to Ipsy and the Bomb. And I'm so excited. Three winners and yeah, I can't, I just love giving back to you guys, and I mentioned in my last video how thankful I am for you guys, so just a little thank you for you guys. I'm sending out some little presents. So three lucky winners will win this palette, and yeah, so if you guys want to enter, click the link down below. It's really simple and easy, and nothing too much, so go enter. Give it a shot, you know, maybe you'll win. <laughs> So if you guys want to stick around to learn how to apply foundation, concealer, contour, blush, and highlight, then just keep watching. So this is my bare face. Um, I don't have the greatest skin, I know, but no one's perfect, right? That's why we have makeup, to make ourselves look flawless. Um, the first thing I like to do before I apply any of my foundation or anything is just to look at my skin and see if there's any redness. I have been breaking out like a mad woman lately, and all of my breakouts turn into really red scarring so the redness will fade over time but that's why you see a lot of redness and I have really large pores like you could probably see through my skin inside of my head from my pores <laughs> but um yeah so what I like to do is I like to just look at my face and see if there's any redness and decide which foundation I'm using if I'm using a less more medium to sheer coverage foundation then I will go in with concealer and I will apply the concealer onto my problem areas and then use a beauty blender or a Miracle Complexion sponge and just pat them into my skin and then go over top with my foundation. But I usually wear a more full coverage foundation. I prefer a full coverage foundation and I'm obsessed with this foundation that I'm going to show you next. So before I show you foundation, the first thing I like to do is apply primer. I will say that I don't apply primer every single day, and I don't know why, I don't know if that's just because I'm lazy, but I do recommend applying a primer, a primer, especially if you're oily. My favorite primer by far is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. This primer minimizes the appearance of pores, it's great for oil control, and my makeup does not move the entire day when I use this primer. So let me show you how I do that. So I just take there's like barely anything left in here so I just I'm squeezing it out I take literally the smallest amount I don't know if you can see that and then I will pat it just in the areas and I make sure that I get the most on my cheeks especially where my pores are and then I will just first brush it all over and then I will pat it into my skin I like silicone based primers because they're great for oil control and pore minimizing. As well if you have a lot of redness use a green concealer to pat over your redness first or Smashbox has a uh, it's a primer it's green I'm not sure if I I'm gonna find it for you guys and I'll link it down below what the name of it is but basically, basically green counteracts redness, so NYX makes a HD Photogenic Concealer in green, 
and all you do is just pat it over your redness pat that in then apply the concealer over top and then go in over with your foundation and that will conceal the redness for you so that's great for acne coverage and any rosacea or any redness that you have around your face so next I'm gonna clip my hair back <laughs> I never do my makeup with my hair in my face. That's just a no-no. Also, I forgot to mention this. Whenever you're working with your face or applying any type of moisturizer or primer, anything using your hands on your face, make sure that you cleanse and wash your hands beforehand. Make sure that your hands are really clean. You don't want to put on any sort of bacteria or anything onto your face because your face is really sensitive and it sort of absorbs any bacteria and will just be like Meh. no so you don't want that <laughs> so next I'm gonna go in with foundation and the foundation that I'm using currently I'm actually trying a new color they didn't have the color that I usually use but it's the L'Oreal true match foundation I have super oily skin this is great for my skin um, if you have sort of normal to oily skin this would be great also I know that sometimes my mom is really dry and she doesn't really love this one, but the True Match Lumi she does love, so try that out if you're more a combination to dry. And the color that I'm using right now is N3 Natural Buff. I am usually W3, or if I'm tanner, then I am W5. Actually, my palest is N2, and W5 is like so many shades darker than N2, but... You know what? So the brush that I use is the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush, and it's, sorry, it's dirty, <laughs> but I love how dense it is, and it really packs on a lot of the foundation, and especially with the technique that I do of patting it into the areas that I have a little bit more redness or I want to apply some more coverage to. This is great. Some of my other favorite foundation brushes are all by Real Techniques. I love Real Techniques brushes. They're my first brushes before any sort of Sigma or anything that I ever discovered after. So the brush that I used to use when I just started applying makeup was the Real Techniques Buffing Brush by Real but I just said my real techniques. <laughs> so mine's a little uh, funky funky. I don't know, the bristles are like coming out over here. It's just, a, it's just a hairstyle, you know? But this brush is great. It's not as dense as the flat Kabuki brush by Sigma, but this brush is great to really buff in all of the foundation. It gives you great coverage as well. My favorite, favorite foundation brush, they tie in together. Seriously, these two are my favorite brushes. I switch back and forth between these two. It's the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's more dense than the buffing brush, and it has a rounder top, and it really gets into the contours of your face, so this is great, and it also applies foundation and really gives you a great coverage. And then a last method that I think is also great, I don't usually do this most often because I like to just use the flat kabuki brush, but you can use either the Real Techniques foundation brush or the pointed foundation brush apply the foundation onto your face. It doesn't have to be neat. Then go in with a beauty blender or Miracle Complexion sponge and then pat that foundation in. But today, I am going to be using the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush and I am going to shake up my foundation first. Always shake your foundation first, unless it's powder or cream. Obviously don't shake it. But liquid foundations always shake up because sometimes when it's sitting the oils and the formula of the foundation can just separate so you just want to make sure that all of that is nicely combined so I just take a little bit on the brush and then I start my foundation is much darker than my actual face my face is really white because my cleanser and my moisturizer have salicylic acid which sort of lightens your skin because it's not like bleaching your face but it just sort of lightens your skin over time so that's why my face is really pale plus I try not to really tan my face after my sun poisoning experience so yeah so what I do is I actually go in circular motions first so I apply in a circular motion first I go down strokes on my nose And then make sure to, especially if you're applying a foundation that is darker than your skin tone, then make sure that you're nicely buffing that into your hairline as well because you don't want any white to be pe peeking through and you can really see the difference of your foundation and your hairline. And then I go back and I pat that foundation in. Then 
then what I like to do is that if I have any sort of redness that peeks through that I want to cover up, I'll take a little bit more of that foundation on the tip of my brush and then just pat that over that problem area. This allows me just to get more coverage in the certain areas that I want and some areas will be less coverage like my T-zone and my forehead and chin will have less coverage than my cheeks. And then of course don't forget your neck. I always apply foundation on my neck no matter if my foundation is the exact same color as my face or not. I always just bring it down to my neck just to make it look more seamless and not to have this nice mask going on over here. So I'll just bring that down on my neck and then I'll concentrate on blending between the line on my jawline and then blend that down. So now that our foundation is applied, now we can go into concealer. So concealer is my favorite part to apply because this really changes up your entire face and really makes you look more awake depending on how you apply it and if you apply it the right way. So my favorite found, not foundation, my favorite concealer at the moment is this NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And the shade that I use is CW04 in beige. I did used to use, I think it was CW01 or CW02 in fair. That was when I was at my lightest times. <laughs> but if you guys want to use something lighter than this one to really highlight, this one is going to give you that highlight, but it's just not going to do it over top. And it's just going to give you a nice subtle highlight and more awake look. The other concealer that I love, but I have never actually repurchased after the first time that I used it, was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I loved that one. It was really creamy, it stayed on really well, and the coverage was fantastic. So this one's also really good. I love this one. I've been using this one for years. So how I like to do it is I'll just take it out, and especially if you have dark circles under your eyes or if you have bags, Back in the day I used to do this, I only used to apply concealer right here, just blend it out and that's it. I don't recommend doing that, especially if you have dark circles or bags under your eyes because if you apply in just one little motion like that, you're actually going to accentuate your eye bags and eye circles. Yeah. <laughs> and those babies are not going to be Chanel or Prada. So you want to apply your concealer in a triangular motion, in an upside down triangular shape. So I like to bring it down to the corner of my nose and then I also like to bring it up a little bit on the side of my nose. That will give you an appearance of a smaller nose. So by applying your concealer in an upside down triangular, you're going to lift this area and give your face a really more awake look rather than accentuating that under eye area. So this is just going to lift everything and this is what Kim Kardashian did. like. When we all found out back in the day, everyone started doing this, and I have not stopped. I always do this. Then I go in with a damp Miracle Complexion sponge. I just run it under water. I squeeze it a few times to get the water really in there, and then I squeeze all the water out, and it's nice and damp. And then now I just look up, and I pat this all the way up to my lash line. And then keep on patting it in. And then I bring it out onto my temple and then I will just pat that over my eye as well. And then I go in with the pointy side and I just really get up in the corner of my eye because you want to conceal that darkness in there too and give your face a more awake look. So now you can see how that really just lifted that whole under eye area and made me look more awake. I look kind of cray without any eye makeup on or my brows filled in or any contour or anything. So then I'm going to go in and set my entire foundation. If you have dry skin, you don't need to set your foundation, but my oily skin needs some powder. So then you're going to go into a powder. I like to use a translucent powder. You can use a pressed powder. You can use a foundation that's in powder form and give you extra coverage, or you can use a translucent powder. Also, that's what I like to do. So my favorite at the moment is the NYX Set It, Don't Fret It matte finishing powder. I've been using this for a really long time. So this is probably like my 10th one that I bought. I go through these like it's my job. So I use the light medium shade. It's basically translucent. There's really no coloring to these. So the brush that I like to use is this Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush. Um, 
it per fits perfectly right under my eyes it's really soft and it really sets that foundation and concealer really nicely so I picked some of that up on the brush and then you're gonna tap that in and keep tapping in that entire triangle area that we applied and then you can go and swipe that away first you want to tap that in to really set that and not wipe away any of that product that we just put on there and then you can wipe that away I like to just apply some of this on the top of my lids as well to set that foundation and concealer this also works great as a primer and then with the same brush I just like to go a little bit around my nose and that little contour to make sure that's set because I get a lot of oiliness around there and then I go in with the Real Techniques large powder brush and this is where I just pick up a lot well not a lot <laughs> I pick up some of that powder on the brush and then I will pat that into my face and then go in a circular motion so the whole thing is that basically you just want to keep patting I don't know if you can see there's so much powder flying around you want to keep patting all of the product into your skin I'm eating this powder because you want to set it and make sure that it stays on your face rather than swiping it away from your face because we did all that work we don't want to wipe it away so those are all the basics of foundation and concealer now you can move on and continue doing your face however you like but I'm going to show you how I contour and apply my blush because I have gotten a lot of questions on how I do all of these face steps so I figured I would make a nice tutorial doing all this so the found not foundation <laughs> so the bronzer that I love to use is the Hula Benefit bronzer I actually recently rediscovered my love for it I used to be obsessed the powder is making me want to sneeze stop right away right away okay that just hot face when you want to sneeze and it's just coming and then it runs away <laughs> so I recently rediscovered my love for the Hula Benefit bronzer I was obsessed and used my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit for so long but then I kind of just wanted to try something new again but I just came back to this so a brush comes with the Benefit bronzer and it is this flat little brush Another great brush that I love to use, but it's a little dense, so if you have a heavy hand, you might try to swipe away accidentally your foundation. This NYX brush in number six is great. It's a large fan brush. It is great for contouring. I love it as well. But if you do apply it with a hard hand, then it sort of wipes away your foundation slightly, especially if you have oily skin. So try something that's softer. Another brush that's great, this is an old, old brush it's really dirty I mentioned it before it's my brush dual what it's my posh dual brush and it's a powder and blush brush so this side is the blush side and then this side is the powder side I actually use it reverse I used to use this for contour and I used to use this for blush so you can use whatever side you like so I'm actually gonna just go in with this because it makes applying contour really easily and it really gives you that chiseled look so what I like to do is I just like to first apply a little line and then I will start blending that up and I will go up onto the sides of my forehead and temple so my tip and I always do this is start with a small amount of product and keep working your way up because that is so much easier to build your product up and it gives you a more flawless and blended out look rather than applying a really strong line then you're not gonna be able to blend out and if you keep blending it out you might actually wipe away your foundation and it might just look patchy and not so neat been there done that I learned from my mistakes so start out with a small amount and just keep moving your way up so you want to apply your contour in the hollows of your cheeks so you can feel that hollow in your cheek usually it's gonna start at the very edge of your ear and then move down to the corner of your mouth try avoiding from here down to the corner of your mouth because that might 
give you a sort of weird effect to your face. So stop about here because our blush is going to go in this area. So apply that foundation and then I like to blend it up and create sort of a little triangle coming down into a peak. That gives you a really nice high cheekbone effect. And then blend that up onto your temple. If you have a small forehead, don't blend it up on your temple. If you have a larger forehead, then do blend it up on your temple a little bit. Then what I like to do is, you don't have to do this, but if you want to give yourself a nice, slim, chiseled jawline, apply this just on that edge of your jawline, and that'll give you a nice little chisel action over there. And don't forget your chin if you have a little extra chinage going on. <laughs> Okay, so now after I applied my contour, I just contoured my nose. If you guys want a video of how I contour my nose using powders, let me know. I will film, film that for you guys. So now after I do my contour, if I am wearing highlighter, which I'm going to show you, I don't always wear highlighter, and I just found my new love for highlighter. I never used to be a highlighter kind of girl because I have really oily skin, so my face is a natural highlighter on its own. So... I'm just going to show you how I do it because I just want to show you everything and then you guys can pick and choose what steps you want to do. So my favorite way of applying highlighter is I take two highlighters. I'm going to take a cream highlighter and then a powder highlighter and the cream highlighter is going to act as a base and then applying that powder highlighter over top is just going to make it pop and seriously aliens are going to see it in outer space. Your highlight is going to be beaming up there. So I have the little small sample size of the Benefit WhatsApp highlighter and I'm just gonna take some of that on my finger so I just rub that on my finger I don't go directly from this onto my face because that will wipe off my foundation so I found that this is the best way to do it so then I'm going to pat that over the high point of my cheek and where I'm going to apply that highlight do you see this is such a pretty subtle highlight on its own. It's beautiful. And then I'm just going to pat a little more. So you can feel where that high point of your cheek is. So it sort of sinks in right here. This is where your eye socket begins. So it sinks in right here. And then this is where you're going to apply your contour. So as you move up, you feel the high point of your cheek. So that's where you're going to apply that highlight. And then you can bring it down a little bit onto your cheek so then everywhere that you move, you're going to see that highlight peeking through. And you can apply a little over your cupid's bow. So I know that everyone applies highlighter after they apply their blush and contour. I like to do this before I apply my blush because I want it to be very blended out. So I want it to look like it's just really my entire cheek area is just like glowing. And I don't want it to be like contour blush highlight. I want it to be like highlight blending into the contour into the blush. <laughs> so I apply this before my blush and then the blush when I apply it is going to really blend that all out. So now my favorite powder highlight is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. It is gorgeous. Do you just see that beam? Do you see that even just shining at you guys? Yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush and I'm just going to pack some of this over top so I'm gonna yes do you see that and then I'm gonna just blend that over that oh yeah do you see that <laughs> so I'm just blending that over that benefit what's up highlighter if you want a more subtle highlight just don't apply that base or you can even just apply just that cream highlighter on its own yes 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 okay I think I think I just went a little overboard <laughs> so another tip that I have with highlighters you don't need to use a highlighter you can use an eyeshadow that is a nice sort of shimmery shadow and my favorite highlighter shadow well, my favorite eyeshadow for highlighting is the Rob Sheppey by Teeny Beauty and this is their powder eyeshadow in Pearl Fizz so seriously this is absolutely beautiful it gives your cheeks such a pretty sheen and I've used this 
so many times as highlighter instead of an actual highlight. So then after I applied my highlight and contour, now I'm going to go in with blush. My favorite, favorite, favorite blush at the moment is the Sigma Heavenly Powder Brush. What? <laughs> my favorite blush at the moment is the Sigma Powder Blush in Heavenly. It is a beautiful, very matte, corally blush. I love like very muted coral blushes. They're my favorite all year long. So I'm going to take that dual ended blush brush from Posh and I'm just going to smile a little bit and your cheek sort of picks up and you see this little circle right here. That's where you're going to apply your blush and then you're going to blend that up to meet up in between that contour and highlighter. <laughs> And then see how when I blend that up in between my contour and highlight, this is going to blend that highlight and it's all going to just look very diffused and blended out. Okay, so I did apply a lot and I did that on purpose just because I want to show you what I always do after. So if you apply a lot of blush or contour or anything, if you just go a little overboard with it, I always, no matter what, even if I don't go overboard, I always just go back into the powder brush that I used. I'll first just sort of buff away the bottom edge to make sure that it's nice and crisp. And that brush from that Hoola Benefit bronzer really just allows you to get that crisp contoured look. And then I'll just go all over this area and blend it out so it's all seamless. And that further blends out your highlight as well. So now we're done. We learned how to apply primer, foundation, concealer, contour, blush, and highlight. Six things we learned in one tutorial. It was probably so long. I'm going to go apply some brows, eyes, and lips, and I'll be right back to show the entire look done. So this is the finished look with my makeup on and everything, and now you can see it really just comes together. So let me know if you guys like this video and if you learned something different, and if you learned something out of this video and it, if it really helped you because my whole point of my YouTube channel is that I want to show you guys how to create makeup and how to do things and really learn and just create amazing artwork because makeup to me is an artwork so if you guys have any other how to learn videos that you want to see and don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments because I will definitely put those videos out for you guys because I want you to learn if I'm here to teach you guys so if you guys want to be taught I'm here to teach and you guys are here to learn. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like this is a great video to put out there. I know there might be a ton of other videos like this, but you never know, maybe you learned something new from me today. And you know, our foundation is basically the base of our entire look. You can't build a house without the foundation first. So we gotta put the foundation on and then we got all these little things like our eyes and lips and brows that will just bring the entire, not house, but entire look together. <laughs> yeah. So. Let me know how you like this video, if you learned anything new, and what other videos you guys want to see. And don't forget to enter that giveaway because why not? You know? If you could win, maybe you could be the lucky winner. Like, that's so cool. Just five seconds to enter, and maybe you won a free palette. <laughs> so don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. That will all be right here, as well as down in the description box. As well, the link to the giveaway will be down in the description box as well. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.